Yo, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video of Columbus Aviators Franchise. I have to remember that name. For some reason, I'm just not remembering that name. Um, last video, we faced the Cowboys in a, a very surprising game. Um, I really thought we were just going to lose, just straight up, like, be dominated. For the most part, we just looked shaky on offense, as you would expect a rookie quarterback with unproven pieces on the um along with the offense we played decent it ended in a weird scare a weird scare a weird score 14 to 19 i get to this box score and look at it yeah 14 to 19 i just think we i think our defense played um well i mean he threw the ball decent he only threw it into it at that last uh that last play on like the four or whatever threw it into just threw it too quick um I was a little nervous and to be on the floor. I mean, we, I did what a rookie, you expect a rookie to do. We rushed the ball decent, not too much. We only had 10 attempts on rushing the ball. And he had two touchdowns, 43 yards, 4.3 average on the ground. Receiving was, could have been better. It was decent, though. But I think the main... Uh, the main point was the, our defense... Our pass rush, like when I say good defense, you would think, oh, good pass coverage, just locking them up. Sometimes we did, but for the most part, it's because our um, edge rushers, mainly our D line, like we got in pretty successfully, and it wasn't even on blitzes either. It was just on it. It was mainly natural pressure, and that's what we liked. As you see, we had four sacks, but. We got to the quarterback a lot. We stopped the run for the most part. We didn't come away with no intos that game, but it was still a good game. A very surprising game at that. And if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. Like the video too. Um, we're going to look at this Cardinals team. We're going to look at every team we face because it's a brand new league. It's a brand new era. So the quarterback is pretty young. 24-85. Superstar dev. Uh, we're going to have to deal with that. Not very fast, though, so we might not have to worry about that. Like, why? <laughs> I don't know why they draft so many quarterbacks, bro. Like, he's only 24, which means you drafted them around the same time. You have a good running back, so it's going to be a little tough. They're both... Damn, all your running backs are fast, though. I don't like that. Wide receivers. Nothing crazy. Superstar dev, though. Yeah, nothing crazy. Tight end. Pretty decent. Left end, all right. DTs. Okay. They have a good pass rush. This is That's not good for us. Middle linebacker. X-Factor middle linebacker. All right, that's great. That would have... Yo, y'all yeah, just have a great team. How are y'all like an 80 overall? I don't get it. How is that an 80 overall? Look at what their team is rated. 81. How is that an 81? All right, judging based off what we've seen, I, uh, what do we want to defend? I think we're going to defend runs. We're going to defend run outside. Yeah, we're going to go blitz counter because we know that they're going to be able to get in, but we just need to hold that line. Hopefully, we got no injuries in practice. If you did miss last episode, our star wide receiver did get injured in the preseason game, so he'll be back in about four weeks. I'll show that to you in a minute, and I'll show you some new signings we did make also. Just some replacements, just some quality of life things. If we just trade away two people, I will show you that also. We'll get right into that. So our injury, we, uh, yeah. Cody McPherson. I, just sounds like kind of a cool name. He dislocated his ankle in preseason, so he'll be back in about four weeks. That will be nice. And I will show you some people we did end up picking up in free agency. And then we traded away two people. We ended up picking up uh, Darius Tarpley. Now, the only reason I did it, he is 31. 
six one, one of our tallest receivers. I did pick him up for that reason. And also, he's a 97-speed receiver, so it just makes sense for him to be on a team. Speedy guy, good, good catching. Makes sense for being a team. I did pick up a center, I think. I can't remember which one it was exactly. But just for some depth, it just made sense. And on defense, I think I picked up a cornerback. This corner, once again... Just good speed, decent cover ability, and just for some depth. We traded away a tight end and we traded away a corner for two thirds, I think, or a third. I think it was two thirds. I can actually check. I think it was the. We have one of the Giants third rounds. Yeah, we traded for a Giants third round pick, which is decent. So we have a first, a second. Two thirds, two fourths, two fifths, and then regularly six seventh, which is not bad. And if the Giants do worse, I said worse. If the Giants do poorly enough, that third could turn into a second, a pretty late second, but still a second. I think next episode I'm going to uh, like kind of edit the players a little bit in terms of like equipment. And this is kind of weird. We, we're starting our first three games of the season on the road. I don't know if that's regular or that happens, but that's how we're starting off. We're playing another dome arena, which I guess is cool, but what I guess is... Uh, I just hate arena that has shading, bro. I hate it. It really fucks up the way I'm playing, but... Hopefully, it's not too much of a trouble today. And honestly, this first season, there are no expectations. We do want to perform well, at least in terms of stats, but there's really no expectations for us. We could go out and lose every game. Obviously, we don't want to do that, but we do want to have, like, just progress. We want to have good games. But can we do that with this quarterback? I called him Matt West. I don't know why I called him that last week, but his name is Marvin West. Marvin West. I forgot his name. Already. I think it's West. And let's see how their quarterback is doing this season. Just one game, but let's see how he did. Not too bad. I mean, that's kind of how our stats were, in a sense, looking, minus the touchdown. They actually don't. They can't kind of run like a screenplay. I mean, decent way to start it off. It actually wasn't a screenplay. It was just sticks. How did I miss that? <laughs> oh my god, I missed horribly. Alright, third down. Third and three right here. Third and three. on everything is covered they're going deep oh I thought he caught it for some reason good defense though he dropped it damn it's gonna be third and ten not looking like a good drive here but, you know, that always could change. Get a lucky break. I think I want to streak Crosby and then send Tarpy on a slant going to the left. Let's see how that works out. Yep. Creates a lot of space. There we go. That was the idea. He did have a... Uh, a, a superstar on him. I don't exactly know who that was. I'm, I'm not too familiar with the teams yet. Throw it. Oh my gosh. 
I wanted to roll out left, and I seen it collapse, and then I wanted to run the middle, then, but no. They were not having that shit. Get to that. Let's go. I'm getting lucky on these third downs, man. I, I can't even lie. I'm just getting really lucky. I'm going to block my running back. Move. I think Crosby. Yeah, move Crosby to the middle. And streak him. Slant Page. And... Uh, and slant Crosby, not Crosby, Tarpley. See what gets open. Intel, yep. Classic under pressure and accurate. I didn't think it was a dangerous throw at all, but when you get them under pressures, bro, there's no telling how the ball is going to come out. It's just no telling for real. I don't know where I'm at. There we go. There's our pass rush. And that's our rookie, Belton. I love it. And we got it into ourselves. Was that Hobbs? Yes, it was. It was the rookie, Pat Hobbs. Let's go. Even though we just threw a into on our first drive, they throw it into on their second drive. So, I mean, we got two stops so far in this first quarter. Defense is playing very well. We do not care. Gonna try to get a runoff here, but I don't know if it's gonna work. Runs just haven't been there for us today. We're gonna try to get this to the left. I went around the middle, but I'm not. And we actually do end up getting this to the left. There we go. Decent. Four rushes for 12 yards. Not ideal, but it's decent. This could be a touchdown. Actually not going to be right there on the two. Uh, last week we had a couple situations on... Around the goal line, we don't get them in all the all the times we were on the goal line. So let's try to execute here. I mean, they do have a better D line than the Cowboys had last week. As you see, first quarter stats looking pretty good for us. Looking pretty good, over a hundred passing yards so far. So yeah, looking very good on the air. But I was just saying, yeah, we were uh, every time we got in a goal line situation, we did pretty good. And it looks like they come on a goal line defense, something we. Didn't really see um, last week's team do. So, interesting. Just going to block everybody, basically. Can we get there? And we do. A beautiful throw by um, Wes. <laughs> and we end, up, uh, we end up getting the touchdown. I wasn't sure if it was going to be good because how far he threw. I didn't think it should have been that far. Then again, I did lob it. Kind of put it in a spot like he knew he could get to. And I don't know, bro. They might not count that. That's very close to that white line. Are they going to review? They are. Fuck. I was hoping they wouldn't review. It's right on that white line, bro. For momentum purposes, and they it stands, the call stands. So it's gonna put us up, hopefully seven after this extra point. Yes, it's gonna put us up seven zip. Uh, early second quarter, their team was looking a little rattled on both sides as well, honestly, because we just keep converting third downs and on defense. I mean, I don't think they have gained the first down yet on us, honestly. Uh, I was kind of there. I kind of just ran a little bit too outside. I thought he was going to take it extremely outside, but they just kind of ran a counter. Not really a counter, but kind of. Uh, 
Oh, my God. I think that's a outside linebacker in coverage. And you know my outside linebackers just don't cover well. So that's that, really. Oh, my God, bro. I'm not ready for these inside runs, man. I'm ready for the run, but the inside ones, no. And this is a pass to me. Do I have to run outside? I will not lie. I got routed up. Those tight ends, man. They ran some vicious routes right there. And they ended up getting a touchdown. All right, that drive was what I expect their first drive to look like and what I expect the rest of the drives, the rest of the game to look like. We were in some situations where we could stop them, but we just didn't really end up stopping them, which, you know, it is going to happen when you don't have that the greatest of teams or the greatest of defense, especially in coverage. And did mainly that a lot of that drive was passing. They obviously did implement some runs in there, but it was a lot of passes. Another another shot we took and just didn't come away with it. I need, I mean I need to stop taking shots. Go back to what works for us. There we go. Nice. Oh my god, he's open. Had to go aggressive. I think he was going to end to that if I didn't. And we are forced to punt. Once again, not ideal, but... Hey, what you really going to do about it? Can we get to him? Golly. Obviously, don't call roughing the passer. I might have actually roughed the passer. Not going to lie to you. And they go out of bounds again. We're going to get the ball back. Decent. So once again, identical drives once again. I don't know how we're really doing these identical drives, but we're mm -hmm. getting them. Our QB, 6 of 14, 108. Touchdown interception. It's decent, man, but we need to be better. I don't know, bro. I don't know. All these throws are just not good. Basically a fucking tight end, maybe a receiver on a linebacker. Let's stick in zone. Can we fucking hit stick on? Jesus, man. Like, no hit sticks are going along. You know what's weird about, like, them not covering the outside? Um, I'm telling them to cover the outside. They're just not doing it. Like, they're not covering the outside. Like, they're just not. I couldn't. How did I get blocked? What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? Please tell me it was hold. I think it actually was a hold. Yup. <laughs> yeah, I cheated because I wasn't even supposed to get blocked. Don't do that, bro. They're going to want to get out of bounds. And they're at, oh, they don't have timeouts. Good. Beautiful. Like I said, <laughs> yeah. This was the stupid part. I swear, most of that drive, I was telling the, the, the coverage to cover the sidelines. Basically, outside, shade outside, basically. They wasn't doing that. They was giving up everything on the sideline. 
Like, a lot of time we had stuff covered, which was decent defense at that. They just wasn't covering what they needed to. And for the offense, we need to... We need to focus on the medium passing, bro. And for the defense... They're not really running the ball that well anymore. We need to defend the medium passing also. So medium passing on both sides. I mean, score stays 7-7. I'm glad in that defense we just played. You know, we did get marched downfield. I'm still happy with the defense we played. Give me blocks, please. Thank you. Thank you. I like that defense y'all was in. Even though I feel like y'all are like all the way ready for it, I'm gonna hit y'all with a play action. Fight, bro. Don't be gullible. This quarterback is not ready for the throws I'm hitting. Oh my god, what great blocking. How did we miss that? All right. Good tackle. I think that was our rookie, too. Yeah, it was Belton. He so far has a sack today and a tackle for loss. I like it. That was a weird animation. But nobody got any pressure in. They're actually going for it. We're blitzing. Y'all serious? Why did no one even attempt to go for it? I mean, I expected pass right. I mean, run right there. So, um. But even still, I think we came on a good defense. And uh, they have full momentum now. I mean, they stopped us and scored. We have to go down and get points. But we can't because they're kind of defending these underneath routes, these short routes. And it's very hard for us to get the ball to the people we want to get it to. Either people are not getting open or when they do get open, my guy can't hit them. Wide open. There we go. Should be at least second and like four, three. I mean second, third. I meant to say third. I knew it was third. I don't know how we're going to do this. Yo, he's a shitty thrower, but we knew that already. But missing that, bro. And, it, and, it, and you might be like, damn, what crew about to cry? Yes, I'm about to cry. All this bullshit I've been through. Jesus, on a fullback dive. Good stuff. Do we go 60 base again? I think we don't. And I don't even think we go man again. Good again. Culliver this time. We forced a fourth and goal. They're going to take a field goal. So, good goal line defense. I think we have pretty good goal line defense, if I do say so myself. But, I mean, I don't know how we're going to move this ball. We can't run. The run is, like, almost evaporated. We can't throw from in the pocket. He is horrible. There we go. That's more like seven or eight on that one. And another one of their players are injured. We love it. Keep hurting them. Let me tell you right now, that was not who it went to. 
It was to the underneath receiver and he overthrew him. <laughs> that is horrible. Oh my god, this quarterback is shit. Oh my god, let go of the ball, let go of the ball. Like, you want to let go of the ball every other time, but there, no. Oh my god, I don't know what fucking route he's A. Got double covered. Nothing we really could do about that. A field goal isn't really going to help at this point. Just being real, it's not. I might just... I don't know. All right, all right, all right. Got a hike. They didn't have the time. I was going to let it go to Y, but I just didn't have the time. That's what it came down to. No time. I mean, I'd rather have a turnover like that than what we've been giving up. So, cool. Good tackle. Yeah, like I said, I'd rather have a uh, turnover on downs rather than a interception. Or, like last week, fumbles. I say, how about some pressure? And Belton, I don't know what that was. Look like he was getting dragged. But um, Belton, having a really good game. I think he has two sacks and two tackles for loss. So, have yourself a day, sir. I thought someone entered that. And we're going to get the ball back. I mean, this game is not over, but it's like... <laughs> We don't have much of a chance, bro. There you go. That's a... Even a poorly placed ball. Like, that's a worst placed ball. By far. And he ended up coming away with the catch. Oh, my God. I wanted to streak my tight end, but I can't because... These momentum factors, bro. There you go. I'm gonna have to just say fuck it. There's only really two routes I could throw on this field. R B R the tight end. It's not even a tight end really. He caught it. He actually caught it. Beautiful plays ball. Something we can't always say about this quarterback, bro. I kind of want to run, honestly. Let's do it. Basically, untouched. So, I mean, they're putting us in a situation once again where we kind of have to get a stop. Are you serious with this? Well, I could tell you right now, we're going to miss this field goal. That's just what's going to happen. Oh, no, I actually hit it. I'm, like, really bad at those. I even almost missed that one. Why is that a... Whatever. That's not even my... This is a horrible kick. Jesus Christ. I'm selling. I mean, we know they're going to come out in something that's going to be a run-heavy formation. So, I think... I don't even know if I ran the right play. I just took too long trying to explain that. There you go. Um, We're going to let that actually go down a little bit. He gained a little bit too much yards on that one. All right, now I think we're going to have to come on pass coverage. And pray to the Lord. All 
I don't even know. Oh, they ran a screen, and we couldn't stop it. Wasn't ready for that at all. Just wasn't. And that is probably going to be game over. And I'm losing that game 17 to 14. It's going to close game. Like, I'm not mad at losing these games, but just make it close. And, I mean, we are making it fairly close. Our defense played really outstanding. But offense is where the struggles come. They just are. I think I'm just going to have to... I mean, we're going to have to utilize the, the, the run game, both to the quarterback and the running back. That is where the big plays come in. Very identical games from both quarterbacks. He had a 35 completion percent, 11 for 31. Oh, geez, this guy is mm -mm, a 29 quarterback rating. <sighs> One touchdown, three intos. They had about the same yards, so what does it really matter if you end at the same place, right? Um, a running back, fairly all right. 12 for 61 yards. Five on the ground. Our quarterback, four rush for 43 yards. Fairly, we've got to just utilize that part of the game a little bit more. And... You just got to get better at passing, bro. I mean, and, and even in the passing game, when we did catch these thrown balls, as, as you see, there was only 11 catches in the game. A lot of probably drops. Yeah, you, even if you look in the drops, one, three, two, one, and then another one, just a lot of drops. Obviously, that has to do with coverage, and sometimes it just has to do with them not being able to catch the ball because of where the quarterback places it, where the defense, just different things that go into that. But a big part of the defense, or big person on the defense was Marquise Belton, our rookie. He had four, he had three tackles for loss and two sacks on the game. So if anybody deserves a player of the game from our point of view, it is Marquise Belton. I think overall in the game, he deserved player of the game regardless. Uh, he just played very, very well for us. Moving on to week three, where we will be facing a division rival, the Chicago Bears. Are we going to be the only team that is winless in this uh, division? Looks like we might. And no, actually, Vikings lose also. Um, we're going to have a player meeting next week. Probably discussing, we'll say short week, but... Probably discussing how we're losing close games. And, uh, yeah, I'm I'm not mad at how we're playing, like I said. I think, I think our defense is the strong suit of the team. But, I mean, what are the more ranked defense in, in, in the first two weeks of the, the, the year? I like, how the, I like how the team plays, honestly. Even though we kind of play somewhat poorly, I, I still do like overall how my defense plays. Obviously, work some things out on offense. Um, the major issue on offense, we have no big receivers. Our biggest receiver is a tight end at 6'2", and that's not very tall. Main, the main guys on the team are like 6'10", 6'11". But, yeah, that is going to do it for us. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like on the, on the video, obviously. And I'll see you next video. But, until next video. Peace. Five, four, lifting up. Three, two, different bitches. One, now I'm sucking y'all. Zeros after commas, dog. Smoke this weed to calm me down. Drinking, lean, I'm drifting off. I don't got no pics at all. I don't got no bitch at all.